in this video, we're going to go over what are going to be the top five best weapons inside Warzone once the AUG and the FFAR1 get nerfed in next week's mid-season update. If you enjoy this video and if you enjoy weapon comparisons, weapon breakdowns and overall tips and tricks for Warzone as well as loadout videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Also click the link in the description down below and follow us over on Twitch, we do want to achieve our goal of 100 followers over there as well. This is not going to be in any particular order, I just think these are the weapons that everyone's going to gravitate towards once the M16, the AUG and the FFAR1 gets nerfed. So let's get on into the first weapon and the first weapon I think a lot of people will gravitate towards is the AS Val. Now the AS Val is the only other assault rifle that actually kills faster than the FFAR1 up close and of course this weapon is not going to get nerfed in any updates because it is actually more balanced than the FFAR1 at the moment but the main reasons I think a lot of people will move towards this gun is because it has super fast time to kill which everyone has gotten used to and also it still runs at AR ammo and everyone's gotten used to sharing ammo with their primary weapon anyway and this is one of the fastest killing up close weapons in the game so like I said for the best class setup you want to use the under barrel you want to use the commando foregrip here now for a long time I was using the merc foregrip to get hit fire accuracy and recoil control and this only helps with vertical recoil but it also slows down a lot of your movement speed which is one of the huge benefits of the FFAR1 at the moment so you want to actually use the commando foregrip because it does stabilize that side to side recoil, vertical recoil is easy to manage and it only gives you a slight quantum movement so the commando foregrip is definitely the best for the AS Val. Then for the barrels, I didn't actually choose any barrel here because even if you choose the longest possible barrel for the AS Val, it gives you damage range and bullet velocity but it hurts your aim down sight time but it doesn't give you any benefit to recoil control which a lot of the longest barrels usually do but again you're only going to be using this gun at close range so I tend to stay away from any barrels then for ammunition you have to use the 30 round mags otherwise you're going to be missing out you're going to be missing a ton of shots with this gun you need to have the largest mags possible and another huge perk you definitely need is sleight of hand because again those mags are super super small and you want to be able to reload them really quickly so those two are an absolute must in terms of the attachments for the AS Val then for the last couple of attachments I use the one milliwatt laser and then I also use the stippled grip tape now this is just to make it like as close as possible to an SMG the reason I use the stippled grip tape is so you get faster aim down sight time and a faster sprint to fire time which is hugely important especially if you're trying to run this as an SMG but then I use the one milliwatt laser now the reason I use the one milliwatt over the five milliwatt is because it's not visible to enemies and as you recall a lot of the lasers on the cold war weapons are not actually visible to enemies so if you want to keep that same advantage then you need to use the one milliwatt laser in my opinion but you could actually swap this out for either the skeleton stock which is also another great option to improve your mobility even further or you could even go for the gi mini reflex optic if you do not like the iron sights on the as val they're not the best and it's kind of difficult to see so this is one i would highly recommend using but my personal favorite is that one milliwatt laser so i'm super accurate and don't miss any shots when i do need to hit fire so there we have my personal favorite build for the as val but like i said there is a couple of different options to build this gun and i do feel like a lot of people are going to gravitate to using this as a secondary weapon inside warzone they've gotten used to using the ar ammo with both guns and also this has that super fast time to kill now after this update even though the m16 and the aug probably will still be viable i don't think they'll be as viable as the best long range weapons from modern warfare and that is why i think the grout is one of the best long range weapons inside warzone at the moment uh, and this is what's going to take the meta spot once that m16 and aug gets nerfed this is one of the old reliable weapons from modern warfare and of course it's the grout so you want to use the mono suppressor the Archangel Barrel or the Nexus Barrel, both are really great options, but personally I prefer the Archangel Barrel because you get that cleaner iron sight, but of course you get the bullet velocity, the recoil control and the damage range as well. Then the Under Barrel, you can use the Commando Foregrip. Then Ammunition, you need to use the 60 round mags, you want the largest mags possible. At this point, you do have a couple of different options with the ground because it has super clean iron sights, you could go for the TAC Laser and this is going to help with your aim down sight time and your aiming stability. 
You could also go for the rubber grip tape and that is because it will make it feel a lot better in terms of recoil and more like that season one, season two growl that we've all gotten used to. But my personal favorite, and I think this is gonna be probably one of the more important attachments, is that VLK 3 times optic. And the reason for that is because a lot of people are gonna be used to using the M16 as well as the AUG for their long range option. And those optics have super high zooms on them and it allows you to beam enemies at a distance. And that is why I think a lot of people will move towards the VLK optic on the ground. And I do think this is a fantastic build for beaming enemies at long range. So that is the best class setup for the grow, and I definitely think this will be in the meta. Now going back to super fast close range time to kills, we have the Gallo shotgun. Now this gun has grown in popularity recently after J God made his video on it, but we were actually talking about the Gallo shotgun a long long time ago. And this gun is definitely one of the best close range options inside Warzone, even right now this actually has a faster time to kill because it spams so quickly. Now for the best class setup, you want to use the agency choke. This is going to give you sound suppression, bullet velocity and damage range and it also helps with recoil control but that's not huge uh, because you're going to be using this at close range anyway. But it's mainly for that sound suppression and the effective damage range bonuses. Then for the battle, you have to use the reinforced heavy. This gives you the fastest rate of fire on the gallo and allows you to spam it even quicker for that faster time to kill. So the reinforced heavy barrel is definitely the best option. Then for ammunition, you want just the largest possible mags you can get and the 12 round tube is that. And also this is gonna allow you to take on multiple enemies, especially if you're playing trios or quads. Then for the laser attachment, you want to make sure using the ember sighting point this is going to extend your effective damage range, which is important to get it to around 10 meters almost. And also it gives you more accurate hit fire, which is really important with a shotgun. And then the cons, it says the flashlight is visible to enemies and that's not really true. The only real cons you're going to get here are to sprint to fire time and aim down sight time. Now you don't really want to aim down sights with this shotgun. So what you want to do is you want to fix that sprint to fire time with the no stock attachment. Now this will hurt your hip fire a little bit, but not too much. And this is the best build for the Gallo shotgun. I've tried a couple of different stocks and even though they let you move quicker, you do want that faster sprint to fire time, especially if you're hip firing with a shotgun. And I believe this is going to be the meta close range weapon once that FFAR1 gets nerfed because this actually kills super, super quick. Next, we have another close range option and that's the MAC-10. Now the reason why I think the MAC-10 will still stay at the top of the meta is because it's not actually overpowered so I don't think it will get a nerf alongside the FFAR1 as well as the AUG and the M16. I think it will stay exactly as it is but unlike the Gallo, the MAC-10 is actually viable at those kind of medium ranges as well. Now it's kind of making guns like the MP7 a bit more obsolete but this is definitely extremely viable at close to medium range. And that is where I think a lot of people will pair it with maybe a Car 98 inside solos instead of using that FFAR1. So for the muzzle, you have to use the agency suppressor. This is going to give you sound suppression, bullet velocity and damage range, which are all extremely important. Then for the barrel, you actually want to use the task force barrel. I found this is the absolute best for the MAC-10. Now it does give you better damage ranges. It gives you better bullet velocity. It gives you a faster strafe speed, which is super important which is going to be one of the nerfs to the FFAR1 in my opinion. But it does give you a con to vertical as well as horizontal recoil. But as we all know, the MAC-10 doesn't really have much recoil and especially in the ranges, let's say up to 20 meters that you're going to be using this, you're not really going to notice the recoil all that much. So the task force battle is definitely the best. Then you want to use the SFOD speed grip and not the field agent because as you can see, the field agent gives you cons to your firing movement speed and your ADS firing movement speed. And if you're used to using the FFAR1, you really want that super fast strafe speed. So you have to use the SVOD speed grip because it doesn't give you any cons to that strafe speed. Then for ammunition, you want to use a Stanag 53 round drum. This is the best and largest mags you can get for the MAC-10. We all know this by now. And then lastly for the stock, you've got two options. You can use the SAS combat stock or the Raider stock. And like I said, we've done a full breakdown of which stock is the best for the MAC-10 and I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one but we found out that the Raider stock is the best in that video and it gives you a faster sprint to fire time, aim walking movement speed and ADS firing movement speed. So if you're not ADS and you like hip firing and moving really quickly as well then you can use the SAS combat stock but personally I do prefer to have that faster sprint to fire time 
So if you haven't unlocked these attachments yet, make sure you start leveling up your Mac 10 so you're ahead of the game when that update actually happens. Now, once the M16 and the AUG get nerfed, what is your best long range option? And of course, it's the CR56 Emax. Now, the Emax is still super viable even right now within the meta, but not a lot of people are using it because the other two guns, as we mentioned, can two burst enemies super quick and have pretty much no recoil, whereas the Emax does involve a bit of skill to use. So if you can control that recoil, the Emax is one of the best weapons in the game. But for the class setup, you want to use the Mono Suppressor for the sound suppression of the damage range. The barrel, you have to use the Zodiac barrel. This is the longest barrel for the Amax. It's going to give you bullet velocity, recoil control, and even effective damage range bonuses. Then for the under barrel, you've got two options. As always, you've got the Commando foregrip, or you've got the Ranger foregrip if you struggle with that vertical recoil. Personally, I prefer the Commando, but like I said, you can go for the Ranger as well. Both work super, super well. Then for the optic, you want to be making sure you use that VLK optic. This is the best optic for the Amax. It allows you to kill enemies at those extremely long distances. Now you can actually go two different ways from here. A lot of people go with the 45 round mags and of course that's a great option because you get the largest possible magazine. But as you can see, it hurts your aim down sight speed as well as your movement speed. So what a lot of people have actually tend to start doing now is actually going for the TAC laser, which gives you a faster aim down sight time and aiming stability. And you can also go for the stippled grip tape as well, which gives you a faster aimed out sight time and sprint to fire time. This is the one that I've been personally using recently because the 30 round mags on the Amax is actually more than enough to down and finish one single enemy. And then you can reload pretty quick uh, with this gun anyway to take on multiple enemies after that. But it does give you a faster aim down sight time. This is not the meta build, like I said, but this is just a build that I've gotten used to using now because it's actually pretty good uh, for aim down sight time and a faster sprint to fire. But like I said, the meta build is the 45 round mag, so you can either go for the one that I showed you before or the 45 round mag option. And like I said, this is going to be the best long range weapon for Warzone unless any other weapons get some kind of buff, but I don't really see that happening. So there are the five best weapons after the AUG, the M16 and the FFAR1 get nerfed. So make sure you get ahead of the game and start unlocking the attachments for these guns as soon as possible. Let me know what you think will be the new meta in Warzone once this update takes place next week. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe as we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. And we're approaching that goal pretty quickly. But if you can help us boost that and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click the link in the description down below and follow us over on Twitch. And thank you very much for watching.